Hey guys, Mars Thingin here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be going through what to expect from the fully Extreme Z Awakened Ultimate Gohan uh, which obviously the event for that goes live tomorrow. So we're going to compare the differences and then I'm going to show off some gameplay of him fully Extreme Z Awakened and rainbowed on the JP server. So uh, his leader skill updates just like at the previous ones he becomes a 70% leader for his typing which is not bad but is of course a little bit outdated nowadays. Uh, his super attack goes from raise, greatly raising attack and supreme damage to greatly raising attack and immense damage. Which is pretty insane considering his greatly raises attack is 50% and it's an indefinite stack. So every time he super attacks it's going to raise. So his attack stat is going to build up ridiculously high and of course he now does immense damage to that modifier as well. So that is pretty nuts. Uh, his passive skill goes from being key plus 5 and attack 10,000 when key is 7 or more. So old school unit with a flat boost to being key plus 5 and attack plus 80% and defense 40% when key is 7 or more. So it's a pretty busted passive like any team you're going to run him on is probably going to have double leaders that give 3 key. Which means you only need to pick up one orb and he's going to give himself the extra 5 to be able to super attack and get the bonus to his stats. Obviously his attack stat will be slightly higher the more key you get. Obviously the 12 key multiplier coming into play if you do get the full 12 key. But that means he's going to hit really hard and be fairly good defensively as well. So his link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Power Bestowed by God and Fierce Battle. So... When we show him off, we're going to show him off linked up with the physical Super Vegito. Uh, I don't think they actually share any key links, but they'll share in Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle. And of course, this Gohan only needs the one key to super attack. So we should still be able to get consistent supers with him and see some pretty good damage from him. Obviously, he's in the Hybrid Saiyans and the Margin Buu Saga, but you're, you're probably only ever going to run him on the Margin Buu Saga team since the main hybrid saiyans leader is of course another ultimate gohan so hopefully they'll bring out another hybrid saiyans leader in the future that maybe has 150 percent to all three stats rather than the 170 130 split and is a different character because then this guy would potentially be one of the best units on that team so let's jump over to the jp and show off what he can do okay so here we are over on the jp side uh, he's not on the first rotation but he is on the next one so I'm gonna not super attack with either of the super Vegitos. we're probably gonna get some crit counters off I imagine anyway so hopefully we won't do too much to the Goku although <laughs> already looks like we'll potentially take him out additional normal okay at least it wasn't a super and okay no crit good good so yeah, we've got the oh, we've got the 35% support Gohan and the Saiyan Man, who I believe he shares Infighter with, on the next rotation. So that is going to work out pretty nicely. I think we'll leave the 35% support Gohan with him because that means they will be on the next rotation together. And actually, let's put them first. So 27. Yeah, the in mm, see infighter definitely gives him a lot. I want to see his tanking, so we are going to leave him first. Obviously, he is rainbow, so I imagine that he is going to tank for double digits, especially considering we are neutral typing against that Goku. So let's see what he can get up to here. So 1.5 million attacks down this before he's even started boosting his attack up. So yeah, 1.4 million crit against neutral. That is pretty good for the first turn when you think about you know if that was the damage he was dealing every turn then he probably wouldn't be considered as good as he is but that's just his first attack you know he's gonna start raising his attack quite a lot uh, let's leave Goten in the front since the EZA Goten is a very good defensive unit I don't want to uh, be dishing out tons of extra damage with all those counters and we can't we can't not get a super attack with the tech Vegito so we'll just go ahead and grab those but yeah the easy a go 10 is another fantastic unit I uh, over on global I think I need two more copies to rainbow mine but he is a unit that I would definitely rainbow he's a very good unit for the hybrid Saiyans team because of his orb changing abilities there's a lot of units on that team that don't synergize super well for key so 
having someone that creates a bunch of rainbow orbs to bridge everything together is very, very useful. So, oh, additional attack. Okay, so Tech Vegito obviously going to take out Vegeta here, but we still have Goku left, so that's perfect. So let's see what... Now, we don't have the 35% attack support from the... Uh, other Gohan, but we are going to have, once we hit enough key for a super, so yeah, we now have power bestowed by God from the other Vegito. So, let's see what we can get up to this time. If we can get up to around 1.5 again without the support unit, you'll be able to see the uh, the huge improvement that he gives. Yeah, so 1.58, and that's comparable to last turn where we had a support unit that was giving him 35% extra attack. And another crit, good man. He's showing out for the showcase here. So, now we go on to the first Tech Gogeta stage. So let us get the... Uh, let us get Gohan floated off here, ready for linking up. Um, we'll give Goten a super. We won't give Vegito a super. And then... I guess we can give Gohan a super attack. Gohan is another user unit that I have rainbowed on Global, the support one. He is such an optimal support unit for pretty much any team you can fit him on. And teams like Hybrid Saiyans where you're running other Gohans, they of course have very similar link packages. So he is very, very good on pretty much any team you can put him on. So Goten taking a super attack for 53 damage. There's the power of these easy A's, and uh, this Gohan one, especially because we don't have Cell yet, this Gohan one is probably the best easy A unit that we're going to have for a while. It's just unfortunate that he doesn't fit on quite as many teams as we would like. So, okay, so we've got Vegito on the rotation for a little bit of extra attack, and let's see if Gohan can just straight up take him out here. So we were at, what, 1.58 million attack stat last time. And I'm going to get another 50%. Yeah, we're at ooh, almost 2 million with the support from Vegito. Next time we see this Gohan, I believe we're going to have that 35% Gohan back again. So we will easily clear the 2 million attack stat. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't take out Gogeta this turn. So let's do this again. Unfortunately, the LR Saiyan Man 1 and 2 providing key to everybody. So, impossible not to super with the Goten and the Vegito, sadly. But, unless we see some additional supers all with crits, he should survive this one turn at least. So, Okay, good, no crit. Okay, additional normal, that's fine. Go 10 tanking. Alright, now Vegito. No additionals, please. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't get a crit at least off the first one, so no crit on the second one. I should probably stop calling it because it seems to work like going against me. Okay, good, no crit, good, no crit. So no super attack for the Saiyan Man 1 and 2, so we should be fine there. No additional, please. <laughs> they get the dodge, though. That's, that's, we like that. So, okay. So, getting basically, he's getting all three of his main attack links from the Super Vegito. And we are getting... Okay, we can only get four key. But, of course, his passive means we will get the super attack. Uh, we'll have to get a super for Vegito. So, we can activate the power bestowed by God. And then we might as well get a super for you as well. So we're looking to break that 2 million. How much can we break it by with the 35% support Gohan? Yeah, just over 2 million. I think it would be slightly more if we'd managed to get the 12 key for the 12 key multiplier. But still, that shows you even falling short of what would normally give a unit a super attack is over 2 million attack stat. So this guy is going to be very powerful on the Margin Buu Saga team. And that team already full of some of the best units, like the LR Vegito. You've got Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is on there. LR Margin Vegeta is on there. Like, once this Gohan is fully easy aid, if you have all of those options, you are going to be able to make an insanely good 
Majin Buu Saga team. But anyway, so that is the showcase for the Gohan. He is quite the beast, as you can see. Uh, I only have two dupes in mind, so I might be tempted to do some summons on the banner, maybe with those ticket packs. I am going to be streaming the EZA. Uh, my stream will start probably an hour after the event actually goes live. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll put a schedule up on the channel. Hopefully I will see you there. So that is going to be it for the video guys. This has been the Master Ningen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe for more regular Dokkan Battle content. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Master Ningen or join my Discord. The link is in the description and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.